Hey guys, Paul Ha here, and today we are playing Stardew Valley. Um, so I was gonna finish up cleaning up the farm like I did, like I said it would last episode, but Marnie came along, and she said I found this sitting outside your f entrance to your farm. I think it's the stray pro little thing. It's a little cat. And yes, this is affected by what you say your animal preferences. So because I said my preference is a cat, it gives me a cat. And of course, if you say no, you don't get it. Uh, we'll name this cat. We'll name this cat Cruella after my favorite, after my favorite villain of all time. Can we give it Deville? Oh, we just miss out. We'll just call the cat Cruella. There you go. And she's like, oh, Cruella. Good little kitty, weren't you? And Cruella just bugger off and do her thing. Now, the thing I like about the cat more than the dog is the cat will, you can sometimes find it in the home, or it will just wander around the farm. Yeah, there's Cruella. You can pat little crawler. Yeah, you can redesign the house. I didn't. I didn't actually show that. Uh, we got the furnace, which Clint gave us last time. And also, you can fill up this bolt and more hearts with your cat. Uh, there were a couple of quests I did just to get some money. So we're at seven hundred and thirty. We're just again. So we have a a quest called Rat Problem. Basically, there's a cutscene that triggers uh, on the on Saturday the 6th where when you go into town or any time after this um, uh, Mayor Lewis will give a cutscene where basically he talks about um, this old community centre that Jojo Mart wants to destroy and build a warehouse there and he asks and he hears noise from inside and he's like oh can you investigate it for me he's like you're a farmer and I'm old and the useless man yeah, he's really useless throughout this game. You'll see this later, but he's just incredibly useless. He asks you to do so many things for him, because he's just useless. Um, so yeah, all I've really been doing, because I think we ended it on uh, day the third, so it's been about a week in the game. So it's been about a week, me clearing things out. But we've pretty, pretty much got a pretty empty farm. Oh, pretty much everything lootable fell in the river. I mean, we got some, but not as much as I would have wanted. Uh, these big ones, you need to upgrade your tools. So I pretty much just left everything I can't mine. Uh, but the grass I can, but we'll get to that maybe later in the episode. If Okay, so we've got a rusty spur. Now, basically, worms are the best way to find lootables. So, like, here's another one. I keep getting rusty spurs. I've got three of them now. I've got one in the chest, because I was going to go give it to Gunter. I think we've shown off a couple in the episode, where we have geodes, and uh, we got um, Clint, the blacksmith, to break them open. We got some weird resources. Uh, you can give... Um, so, yeah, there's another geode. So let's go pop this all away. And we'll take our rusty spur and our geode, and we will go do Clint. And then we'll go find out about the community center. Find out what that's all about. So we're taking a lovely little stroll. So town doesn't really change. There's the task ward. It's anyone's birthday. It's Vincent's birthday, but we don't plan on wooing him. Um, well, we can't even woo him. Probably by the time the episode where, I, probably by the time that the episode where I ask what you want comes out, I might have started flirting with someone. I'm not flirting with Jane. I, I know I said I would, like, if there was a mass vote, but I just can't be bothered to float with him. Because he is such a painful character. 
Oh, we finally got our first reward. So then we can talk to him again, and we can collect rewards. And he gave us nine cauliflower seeds. So we can plant those, because we still have enough time to plant these. So we pretty much just... He'll usually give you um, free resources, because they expect you to start doing everything from the first day. Which is kind of a little bit harsh if you don't know about it, but... Um, they'll usually just give you random things. So we got... Um, Nekoites? Nekoites or something? So yeah, I've watched my share and tutorials, which is, if I ever go on my YouTube with, whilst I'm recording, it will come up saying <laughs> that there's some, uh, wait, uh, what's the call it? Uh, I can't think of, like, it's tutorials in the game. Uh, shop, can I sell you? Now, I want to get, I think, three more. Okay. I believe that's enough. <clears throat> now you'll find out why I want that in a bit, but for now we'll just keep that on us and we'll head up to the community center. So if you remember from the first video where we were trying to introduce to everyone, or was it the second? I don't remember. When we were going around and meeting everyone, um, there was an abandoned building north of Pierre's, which I don't think I really showed off, but it's this. And this is the Pelican Town Community Centre. And in here... Pretty darn disturbing. I pretty much got this far on the playthrough that I did in preparation. So, a little thing there. It's like, it's in gibberish. It's like, huh. It's not really much here to go. Now I did a little bit of browsing into this because some of the things taught you like how to get all the stuff quickly. Uh, up here we can smash this rock, and basically this is a, pretty much a place where you, if you once you get rid of all this fiber, stuff will spawn here. So yeah, this. Is, that's the little playground there. We can't even get on the swings, which kind of annoys me. Just gonna mine some of this crap. So yeah, we got two mixies. Mixies are brilliant for starting out the game because they're pretty much just free resources. Now, the most common one you'll get is the cheapest one so in summer not in summer in spring the most cheap um, one is uh, parsnips they're the most common ones you'll find okay so there we go we got our 3x3 three three patch okay so uh, yeah, I was correct. Okay, so you're probably wondering why the hell did I buy um, three copper ingot? Basically, because there's a thing I want to get called a silo, which basically means I can cut these down and get hay. So when we start getting animals, we can feed them. So that's why I'm, I'm kind of hesitant to cutting down grass. So I've just left the grass. So there's not really much we can do. We'll probably just wait out the rest of the day waiting for the copper. And yeah, it'll probably be us for the day. Um, in case you're wondering, as of this episode being made, I haven't even released uh, episode one yet. Uh, I'll probably do a couple recordings tonight, but I won't get too far ahead because I want to get a batch done so I can just spend a few days like, um, like building up our levels on Pokemon Uranium because um, that's going to take some time. So pretty much this is just going to be filler content whilst you wait for me to get everyone up to speed. Okay, so we've got our five copper ingots, so all we need now 
is three more clay. So we're going to spend the rest day looking around for worms. Because they can drop clay more than anything. They will usually drop clay. And we can also find some lootables. So like leaks. So yeah, if, just some good tricks for Stardew Valley. If you're starting out and you've got lots of you've just got a lot of time in your day. Yep, there we go, one clay. If you've got a lot of time, mine some stuff. Like just go around, have a look, see what one. Because like there's worms around. You'll by chance you'll find some at the beginning of the game, you might find someone you haven't met yet. So nothing over here. Just a couple of trees, that's a fishing spot. There's a girl panicking in the road outside. Oh okay, the mines have opened. I didn't read that. The mines are open, so we'll probably go there later in this episode, so tomorrow or in the next day. So the bridge, no, there's nothing over here. So we're probably going to go about down by Marnie's Ranch. See what we can find down there. And there are quick ways to get around. Like you see these shrines that I've moused over. There's one up here, there's one on our farm, and there's one on the beach. Basically, uh, later in the game, we unlock things called mountain port, uh, these like little keystones, and they'll teleport you to the block in front of them. And so, basically, if need be, you can use them to pretty much walk around. There's the one on our farm. It's like a little green one. Also, when I was uh, doing stuff, I also noticed this over here. I didn't want to do anything in case it activated something, but over here there was like this little shrine thing Monica wait for my return of the dawn of your third year grandpa so grandpa is the guy that left us the will so clearly he was prepared for us he knew we were taking it were he like his only grandchild or did he just not want to give it to like anyone else because we do have a mother because they send us things sometimes randomly in the game I don't think it's like set dates they'll send you something. I think sometimes randomly they'll just send you a little thing. Like they usually just send you like cakes and stuff. Yeah, that's what your family do for you. You know, I think I would think my daughter's a bit of shit daughter just like moving out into the middle of nowhere. Here we go. Spring onions. You can only find these in this area. Down here. So yeah, I've done a little bit of research. Some dandelions. I've just seen these around. An old house. Maybe we'll find something there later. Some more fibre. Kinda wanna find a worm. Oh, I just remembered what we can actually do. So basically all we need is one more clay. And I remember from this video I watched, if we just hoe a bunch of the ground, it will sometimes randomly just drop. There you go, we got a random drop. So we just need to get one more random drop of some clay. I want to do it off farm because the farming is just really okay. Come on, one more, one more. There we go. So now, tomorrow, we can head up to Robin and get a silo built.
Now it doesn't build instantly. The bigger the building, the longer it will take to build. Uh, I think a silo takes a day to build. Like it should be like it takes a couple of days, but it just takes a singular day. So let's just pop this all away. Uh, our fishing rods in there. We'll grab the stone. I think you need wood as well. You need clay and you need five copper bars. And when it strikes nine o'clock tomorrow, we shall head up. The TV. Queen of Sauce. Here we go. This base. This channel basically teaches you about cooking. Stir fry. We learned how to cook stir fry. So basically, when we upgrade the house, which I'll show you in a bit, when we upgrade the house, um, we can go into a kitchen and learn how to make these recipes that we watched. Oh, we got two parsnips. I want to put these in here. Let's go read our letter. My my sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't we pay a visit? My chambers in the forest and the stone tower. I have information concerning a rat. Oh, I I saw that. Okay, I saw this. I saw this. As we're heading up to Robin, we might as well do it because we've got a couple of hours. Because Robin doesn't know till nine. Um, I on one of the. Um, I remember this from my other playthrough. I don't remember everything because I haven't played that one in a while. About a year, I think. This hasn't been out for long, but I got it when it like, first came out. Um, I remember where Robin's Axe was because i seen so many people do it. I know where most people's lost item things are. Most people just leave them randomly. And it's like a matter of just happening to see them. Robin's Axe is down right here. Here we go. I don't know if it's a set block. The thing is, you cannot use it, which really bothers me. Kind of just want to get rid of this. It bothers me that you can't use her axe. So, like, why can't you just use her axe to the point of using it? Because it is an axe. It's like you have one, and it's shit. Okay, so we're just heading up. So we got an hour to get there. There's someone. Robin's new axe. Meet the wizard. Yeah, we still need to meet Sebastian. That's the one person we haven't met. So up we go. Now the thing is, also in Stardew Valley, you don't just want to make friends with your love interest. You want to make friends with everyone. Because people will send you random rewards saying... Basically, it's the, like the game's way of saying thank you for taking the time to befriend characters. Here we go. She'll all... At 9 o'clock, I think Robin always starts her station. You found my axe. Or... That's her lucky axe. I don't, I, think you, I don't even think you get a heart for doing that, do you? Oh no, you do get a heart for doing that quest. Yeah, if you do quest with people, you can get things. Just like hearts. Here we go. So, we can build this bad boy. We're going to build our first building up here by um, Krella's little pad. And then you can buy like a bunch of things for your house from her. Like a calendar, so basically you can look at people's birthdays from inside the house. You can buy a bunch of recipes from her. I wouldn't suggest doing that until quite a bit into the game. Like when you've just got too many resources. Okay. Let's go and let's go have a look around these mines. Okay, there's another cutscene that I forgot about. This guy gives you a rusty sword and tells you that, that basically another shop opens. 
and explore the mine, you got to reach level 5, and then you got another mission to reach like level 50, I think. So the mines are basically a great place to just get everything. So you can get stone here. So I think our next quest in the game, like besides them all get everything, get the, all the good stuff, I think our probably next little personal mission will be to um, um, get the bag upgrade. There we go, find the ladder. So I didn't know this, but these little guys can be just broken with a... So when you just find crates down here. Yeah, these bike these guys are buttholes. Okay, and we meet one of the classic enemies of the game, a slime. Yeah, this sword is terrible. I've got a sword that does about 62 damage a hit. In my other one. Like, even if we don't reach down there today, it's like we got we just get some stone for doing this. So like we got some wood. Oh, let's gather up our stone resources. Here we go. Oh, we already found it. We're not even going to waste time. So we got some quartz. Nope. Slow so walks into dark chamber. That sounds inviting. We got a cave carrot. Now food in this game restores energy and health, and we can eat this, get some energy back. And it's not the most energy giving one. The most energy giving one nonetheless. Also we got deeper in the mind we have to reach level forty. And basically, every five levels, an elevator will open. So basically, you can skip ba back to that point. So we've got some green algae. Now, one thing you need to remember when mining is get back to your house before the um, before two o'clock, because you will die. I remember to kill, if you can't find it, kill the monsters, because A, it just gets them out of the way, and B, sometimes they will be the stairs. Like, I know that sounds really weird, but they will open the stairs for you sometimes. Spamming! Okay, and here's the last slime. And the thing is, swinging your sword does nothing. It will not hurt your energy or anything. <sighs> okay, um... I can't find the stairs. There we go. So we're just probably just going to grab what we need from this. If you ever get down to one of these levels and you just run out of energy or you think you're about to die, just run back to that ladder up and then you can leave. I'm going to waste too much energy down here. Just going to cause. Um, later, some because you can get quests from people, they'll ask you to do things for them, like bring them certain resources that you found. I, for the longest time, didn't know how you got refined quartz. 
because they never tell you. All you gotta do is shove one quartz in the furnace and you get a refined quartz. That's it. They do not tell you anywhere to how to get it. But they're just like, oh, can I have a refined quartz? You know, just because I want it. They'll sometimes give a reason why they want it, but most of the time they'll just be like, can you bring me this? Oh, it's for no reason. I just want it. Okay, I'll do a little bit more, but I'm not going to go crazy. So like, as soon as it says you start feeling exhausted, I'm going to head back. Uh, why don't we eat the green algae? Because you can. Uh, we get the we get a coal. I'd, next to nothing for our energy. Oh, a geode. A slime has no purpose now. Oh my god, we're finding some final resources. It's just gonna pee me off. Yeah, we've got enough coal at that. Back at the farm. Oh, we could faint at any second. There we go. There. Oh my god, we can. Okay. What can I... I can really live without the geode. Because we want the earth crystal. Because earth crystals are helpful. There we go. We've got some more coal. Yeah, we made it to level 10 and we get. Let me just. We, we get some boots. Okay, because we have like no space left. And because we're about to die. We're going to head back to the farm, and we'll call that an episode. And she'll, Robin will start work on the farm tomorrow, because he's a useless bitch. I haven't got much left. Okay, so we're going to keep heading down. Yeah, so yeah, you can see... You can power bar over and you can see. Is it not watered? I didn't water them. I forgot to water them. It's going to pee me off. Uh... Let me eat the spring onion. I don't get how watering stuff can make you feel exhausted. Okay, and we're done. So, with that, I think that's going to be our longest episode yet. Good night, guys. Bye-bye.